It's me, General Sam, back at it again with another fucking Red Dead Redemption stream. I'm uh, I'm streaming from my new PC for the first time ever, so uh, I think some. I'm not sure if this looks any better. This is like the first 1080p stream I've done. Uh, gameplay look a little bit more crisp. I actually have a decent like bit rate going on because you know your boy got one of those thread rippers it's kind of a big deal processor um anyways <laughs> i um oh yeah jesus christ that was fucking loud hold on let me turn this down all right so i've been um okay so the whole meme here is uh last time we streamed red dead redemption it says 760p. Oh, fuck it. All right, what are we get to? 720p? I fucked it up. Okay. It, this might not be, uh, you know, what I said it was. What do you want me to do? Anyways, I've been studying. Maybe I should turn this down. I feel like this game is super fucking loud. Yeah. Um, so I've been studying the trains, right? Last time I streamed this, we, uh, we solved that uh, murder case. The serial killer case. And this time, uh, you know, I've decided to do something a little bit more freelance. Like, uh, for example, what what I'm... Okay, this guy is... He's got a real fucking gross head. Hold on. This is the type of shit I'm going after right here. Okay. Gotta take him. Huh? Okay, now. Here we go. Keep it calm. Here we go. Alright, see, what I'm doing is I'm gonna hogtie people. 
and then I'm going to put them on the railroad tracks. The things I'm going to do to you when I get free. Uh, and uh, because you could do this in Red Dead 1, and I've noticed that the people that actually, like, like drive, the drivers of the, the trains, they actually pay attention now. Because they're only, it's a steam engine. I mean, when you think about it, they're basically going, like, 15 miles per hour maybe and they have that little window so like in red dead one they would just blaze on through they didn't give a fuck what was in front of them but in this one uh you know they just look out the window and go oh there's something on the track so i'll just put on the brakes so i i found it very difficult to like trick them into hitting stuff so uh oh also what i've noticed is this is some old-timey ingenuity right so every time you go through a station, okay, um, every time you go through a station, they send a telegram, I guess, back to the previous station telling them that the train made it. Or maybe they have some sort of like electrical signal or something. But uh, because if you hijack a train and never, and you stop it, and you you try to get like one train to hit the other one, the previous train sits at that station, at the prior station, waiting for the telegram to come from the station ahead of you that you've made it. Because they're not going to keep going down if they know that there's some train in limbo in between here and the next place, you know. So uh, that kind of sucks. Because I was going to try to get, like, some sort of collision going on, like a head-on high-speed collision. It never, it never worked. So... Oh, hey, hey, Brian. Oh, wait, no, it's not Brian. It's just that stupid Nightbot thing. Fuck. Anyways, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to see if I can lay down some people and get their, you know, their head cut off a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to be playing the story, so if you're dropping by and you're all concerned that, like, oh, Sam's going to be spoiling the game. Well, you know, I'm not a big guy on spoilers, except for the classic spoiler of Jesus dies at the end of the Bible. But you know, if you haven't read if you haven't read the Bible yet, you're kind of late. I mean, that was a bestseller for like the past hundred years. So, anyways, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> All right, and just tell me if like the game's too loud. I think I I turned it down a bit. Oh shit! Here comes the other train already. Hold on. We can we might be able to do this one fast. Go haul ass ahead. I mean, we gotta book it. God, they, they keep sending them through. Okay, okay, okay. Stop, 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 stop. Pick the stranger up. Oh my god, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, yeah. Drop him. Later, fucker. Oh, that totally worked. Wow, there you go. Wait, he's right he there. Again, I on the second Bible. They need to find a new story arc. What is that on the floor? It's like a piece of meat. Oh, it's his leg. I think I got ah, his leg got cut off. Oh yeah. Epic. Well, that was fast. All right. Well, anyways. Uh, it's been a good stream, guys. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you dudes next time. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I don't... <laughs> God damn. <laughs> damn. Alright, that was fast. Well, that was a whole lot faster than that whole serial killer meme. That shit took forever. What is this place? Look at this. I can never find a train. Look at this. This place is train central. Another one's passing by. What the heck? I'm absolutely baffled. Oh my god, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this. She preem 50 word essay do 50 word essay do tomorrow. 50 words. What? I could fart out an essay 50 words long. 50 word essay due tomorrow and I'm here sitting anxiously waiting for Diablo Immortal. I saw the ads for that and it's like a mobile game. 
Yeah, fuck your mother. I'm not playing Diablo Mobile. Just go play Path of Exile. I mean, Path of Exile, yeah, it's it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's pretty immersive. You know, it's pretty good. It's got a pretty good world to it. I don't think it's as good as like Diablo lore-wise, but it's it's still a spicy meatball. I think it's worth a play, is all I'm saying. A whole lot better than Diablo Immortal. Come on. Oh my god. Aqua's asking me, he's like, did you vote Democrat, boy? So I can ask me if I'm voting. You know what? I'm not gonna lie to you, Chief. I didn't vote. I didn't even vote. Because, you know, uh, call me a fucking ignorant ass all you want, but... Politics now is so pulled to the left and the right. I don't even want to be a fucking part of it. I'm disgusted. I hate people on the left and I hate people on the right. And all they're doing is just having this big fucking stupid fight over it. Hissing at each other like children. I don't even want to be a part of it. Fuck off. So I'm not gonna. Not even gonna. I'm not gonna partake. And then you know what's funny? Is I live in Florida where it's really important for me to vote. And so it's even more insulting to people that are like, like, uh, like my, my grandparents. They're like, you don't even know what you're doing, dude. You don't even know. Like, dude, I've had presidents on both sides of the spectrum my whole life. And I've always been able to leave my house, get some Chick-fil-A and come back home and beat off to weird porn. Doesn't matter who's in office. You can't take that away from me. And then, and then there's the people that are going to say, you know, this is, the, this is the problem right here. People your age, the youth need to vote. You know what? When, how about this? When I see a candidate that actually looks like he is who he says he is, that's when I'll go out and vote. But you know, you know what they do? This is uh, What I'm doing right now is I'm traveling over here to like un-research un, un, uh, territory. I'm going to check this out. But uh, what they do is they sit there and they're like, hey, I want to run for whatever, right? Whatever office they're going into. This isn't even presidency. This is just politics in general. They just they look at and see where they want to go, what office they want to get elected to. And then they look at the people they're running against. And then they have all these jackasses that got political science degrees. And, uh, and they sit there and figure oh, out... Yeah. They figure out what voters they can get. And so then, every debate, they just sit there and talk and try to hey, get those Sammy, fucking hey, voters. That's it. Hey, chat. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. There's a guy around here trapped. Do you hear him? He's somewhere around here. Oh, here he is. Uh -huh. Get the fuck over here. Oh, damn, Daniel. Oh. Wow, dude, you kind of... Hey, I bought your internet company mug, and I must say, it gets my bowels moving perfectly. Oh, thanks, Thank guys. You. Hold on a second. I, I got to take a picture real quick. Wait, I got myself a good portrait here. Oh, I got one picture left on my roll. Oh, yeah. Here we go. No, wait. Hold on. Let me back it up. Let me back it up. Let me back it up. Let me get a good one. Hey, buddy. Help me now. Oof. Or I'm done for. There we go. That's a good one. All right, buddy. Oh. Oh, wait. That's a better picture. Hold on. Hold on. I was going to shoot him, but, I mean, if, if he's already going to kick the bucket, you know. That, one, that one's even better. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delete my previous one. Yeah, I'm sorry. I fucked up on that one. By the way, guys, uh, since last time uh, we were uh, we streamed, I've taken some new snap shits. If you guys want to see, uh, hold on, let me delete this one real quick. I'll show you what I've been what I've been uh, snapping today. Kind of proud of myself. Okay. All right. All right, so uh, see here, we, we got uh, we got Hosea and uh, Herr Strauss talking around the campfire. You know, it was just a nice foggy morning. I felt like it captured the whole um, 
what, what, what would you call it? I get, you know, they're the only two guys awake in the camp. Everybody else is asleep. It's the early morning. You know, it's the wake up and grind uh, muscle emoji uh, chads of the camp. You know, getting that early cup of Joe in, talking business. You know, uh, this is, uh, I feel like this, this picture uh, fully encapsulates the industrious mentality of the camp. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like uh, I like it. I like it. I felt like it was good. All right, this is the next picture. Uh, this is uh, Uncle sitting at the, uh, the table. You know, he was eating some beans. And I said to myself, nothing, uh, nothing satisfies me more than seeing Uncle eating some beans. So I came up behind him, unbeknownst to him, snapped a pic. Yeah. <laughs> Changed the stream oh, name yeah. to Sam's Photography what Portfolio. Hey, okay. All right, hold on. I got to figure this out before I even continue. I got to turn down this stupid donation noise. How do I make this not loud? Is there a way to even... Is there like a shut up thing for this? You better invest this in Bitcoin. Is there no way to turn this thing down? Do I just turn it off? How do you turn this thing down? I can't figure it out. It's not, it's not on the edit thing. Can I just double click it and like just tell it stop? No, that's not it. Hold on, I'll get this. I'll get this, dude. We'll get this. Don't worry. <laughs> Ansel Adams over here. Now, you know, uh, Ansel Adams would be if I was really into landscape photography. I'm not really feeling landscape photography in this game. It's pretty good, but, uh, you know, I think, you know what? I've always felt like photography in real life, you start out taking pictures of flowers, and then you, you get a macro lens or a macro, like, a, what are those things called? The um, extension tube, so you can have, like, any lens as a macro. Uh, and then you take pictures of stupid bugs and stuff. And then you kind of move on, and then you go to landscapes. And you can either Ansel Adams that shit where you perfect yourself, right? Or you can move on to portraiture oh, and street yeah. photography and kind of, like, run up that route and get that perfected. Um, usually, I think... People kind of stick around the landscape phase, which is where I'm at in real life. But in this game, it's no different. In the game, you have your camera, and people start out doing what? They take pictures of themselves with the selfie mode, or they start taking pictures of their fucking horse. And then eventually, they're like, oh, you know what? This game's actually aesthetically pleasing. So they start taking some landscape shots. But then, those are easy. That's easy shit, dude. Then they're going to have to move on to... Uh, stuff that's not so easy to take. You gotta, you gotta try to get some portraits going on. And that's when you, you move into St. Denis, you know? Start taking pictures of hookers getting stabbed. That's art. That's high art, baby. <laughs> Alright, this is my... This is, uh, okay, yeah, that's Uncle Eating the Beans. This is Javier playing uh, guitar by the fire. I feel like uh, this picture, I mean, come on. Look at the... Just look at the amount of, like, diffused light... In this because of all the smoke and the fog. Uh, you know, if I actually brought this one into Lightroom, I could probably do something stankadelic with this. Just made up that word. Copywriting that. That's homegrown. All right. Uh, next one is, uh, that's just a guy behind bars. He looked really sad. I don't know. That, that one's not a keeper, I don't think. Uh, this one, you know, I was trying, I was feeling around with this one. I saw the noose and I was like, what if I could get a, I was looking at the, like the Auschwitz gate over here to the right. And I was like, what if I could, I like lined myself up with that. And I was like, what if I could get a guy walking like sideways and I like got him right in the middle of the, the noose. And I was trying to get that going on, but it just didn't work out. So I like the concept of it, but I don't like the way it turned out. I might be able to like vignette this bitch or something and still make it look all right. But I was trying to, you know, you know what I'm, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, that guy's playing the harmonica, you know. I think, I think what this picture is trying to say is what everybody thinks whenever someone's playing the harmonica. And that's, uh, stop playing that harmonica or I'm going to fucking hang you till you die. Which is basically what everybody thinks whenever someone picks up a harmonica, you know. After that, uh, I went into a cave. So this is just like a Skyrim cave shot. But in this game. Uh, fucking nerd. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, Cole Kiff, thanks for the resub for 10 months and the, you know what, and the kind words. You know what, because of that, I ain't showing you any more fucking pictures. Fuck you guys. Going back to what I was doing. <laughs> I hate you, jackasses. I'll get back to taking pictures of my, of my guy. Uh, oh, yeah. Here we go. There we go. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. He's so happy. Right there. Boom. That one, hey, that one's a keeper. That's a keeper right there. It's looking good. Shut up, you fucking art major. Nah, if I was an art major, I would have voted. <laughs> art majors are those people. <laughs> Fuck, man, this affects us, man. Like, you have no idea. All right, let's see here. Oh, wait, I should probably loot that guy. He had some stuff over here. I mean, I mean, he's got some stuff. Ooh. Yeah, he had pistol cartridges. Look at this. He's got all sorts of stuff. Apparently, I'm getting negative shit for this, but whatever. I'm getting bad boy points. God, I'm such a bad boy. Here, I'm gonna... Ooh, potent pe predator bait. I'm going to disarm the trap. Maybe he's not actually dead. Damn, dude, look at his ankle. Am I doing this wrong? Should I be pressing a button? It didn't tell me to press a button or anything. Get in there, dude. Disarm that thing. Guess he's stuck. Oh well. I've disarmed a few traps in my day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that's that's pretty funny. <laughs> All right, hold on. Yo, why can I not move? Okay, I need to go to my my right. Why am I even looking at the map? I got the fucking map marker in the middle of my stupid mini-map thing. So I have a cultural autobiography for my diversity class. Suggestions for a white guy? A cultural autobiography. You know, if you're gonna write about white culture, I think the first step along the way is to do a long, long, introspective look at how mayonnaise has shaped your life. Because white people fucking love mayonnaise. You know, chicken salad, tuna salad, dip that, like, french fries in it, put it on a hot dog, put it in my hair. Makes it beautiful. What little hair I have left. You know, mayonnaise is just an integral part of every white guy's existence. And so I think uh, a whole report on it is justified. Uh, and they say white people have no culture. You know, <laughs> checkmate atheists. Checkmate black atheists. <laughs> okay, what's that? What's this guy's name? Juan Carlos. He says, I'm white and I hate mayonnaise. All right, let me tell you something. First of all, your name's Juan Carlos. You're not white. Stop lying. Second of all, if you were white, that's impossible that you don't like mayonnaise. And I, I, your name's Juan Carlos. Fucking liar. <laughs> Fucking Juan, Juan Carlos. I am white. <laughs> I do not like mayonnaise. He's just here to disagree. He's trying to fucking... He's trying to start conflict. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, don't forget about spicy water. Yeah. Oh, white guys love ginger ale and Sprite. Okay, wait. Have I checked this place out yet? This place... Oh, these little rape shacks? Yep, I've been here. Oh, this is outside Strawberry. All right, I just need to calmly take a hard left and go down this cliff face as safely as possible. Hey. My whites naturally smell like sunscreen. Yeah, Cole Kiff, thanks for the five bucks. He says whites naturally smell like sunscreen. I, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I just burn. I don't really wear sunscreen too often. Is Miracle Whip mayonnaise? Miracle Whip is like mayonnaise's retarded cousin that nobody really likes. 
It's not that great. It's not a. Uh, it's not too tasty. It tastes funky. That's what I don't like about Miracle Whip. It has a funk to it. But I feel like the people that do eat Miracle Whip love Miracle Whip, and they don't fuck with anything else. Like it's Miracle Whip or nothing. Hold on a second. What are those? Are those armadillos? You see him going through the water? What are you, buddy? Oh, that's a beaver. Hold on. Is that a beaver? Oh, that's a level three beaver. Hold on a second. Chief. Chief Queef. Hold on, let me let me bow and arrow that little bitch. Oh yeah. Epic. Yep. You know what? While I'm at it, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit this one too. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, you know what? That's fine. And then let's get the other one. Let's get greedy, dude. Oh, you can't do two at a time because only one arrow. I guess that's kind of common sense there. Holy shit! What the hell? Oh, yeah. Why are there so many? There's like a million. What the fuck? You see that? They're waiting for me at the border. What the? What? That was so stupid. I mean, I understand that I wanted dead or alive, but I didn't think they would just have, like, people waiting at the border for them. Like, what is that, the Mexican border? They're just waiting? Jeez. Okay. Okay, see, instead of... Okay. <laughs> this is where I crossed, right? And they were waiting right here. They had, they had a, uh, they were waiting for me. They had a ambush team. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up north, right, uh, over the Maginot Line into Belgium here, and I'll just cross over this way. Fucking jackasses. You believe that? That was so stupid. <laughs> there we go. You're streaming Red Dead 2 lower than 1080 69. Oh, wait. 60 frames per second or 69 frames? What? Am I. Is it below 60? And, it, and more importantly, is it 1080p? Because it's supposed to be, I think. I don't know. I think it's supposed to be. fell on that one okay let's see I think what it is is they have like a, a party sitting where's that rolling block oh it's 720 damn it I'm sorry guys <laughs> I'll fix that for next stream I promise you okay by the way I don't think I ever released the the stats for my computer and I would love to right now but I don't know them because I'm not that much of a nerd like, I just, I, okay, this is what happened, all right? Everyone made fun of me. Uh, I know Brian made fun of me back to back to back, but I have been making the same fucking, I have been making videos, like over a thousand videos. Oh, yeah. With the same shitty computer. It is so shitty. And it, it was so shitty. It's, uh, it's kind of just sitting on the floor behind me. But I built that thing in, in like, I, the case is from 2012. Or 2011, maybe. But I uh, helped my grandma renovate her bathroom. And uh, put new tile in there. You know, one of those walk-in showers. Uh, you know, some of those um, uh, brace for impact bars on the either side of her toilet. So she can shit and not fly off of it. <laughs> and, uh, and she paid me 400 bucks. I used that as the seed money to start uh, my PC gaming excursion. And to, you know, start up this... Uh, epic YouTube business. Can I not get up this fucking hill? I want Skyrim horses. This is stupid. Get, get over here. And, um, and ever since then, I've just been kind of like building on the... Jesus Christ! I've been building on the same case, right? Just over and over again. This is the worst fall I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my god. 
I'm so upset by that. I'm so fucking upset by that. <laughs> yeah, I want Skyrim horses back. They're gonna make me... This is such an extreme angle. They're gonna make me cross down into fucking butthole land and go, like, up. I'm gonna have to go through, like, an entire 50 people shooters over here. You know, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go up the river. You can't stop me. I'm going up the river. It can't be that extreme over here. It's fine. Anyways, so I, uh, I, I built, I started, like, I built that computer then, and then I kept just, like, adding parts to it and stuff, and, uh, but I never, like, went all out, because I knew that when I wanted to go buy, like, a new processor, if I got, like, top of the line, I'd be bottlenecked by my, my motherboard, and so I never, like, went all out buying shit. I, I'd always just get, like, middling stuff. You know how it is. Who, wh wh whom's horse is this? Damn, dude, this thing got hecked up. It's from a carriage. Its ass got bit. And its face got all jacked up. Huh. Interesting. So anyways, a thousand YouTube videos later. Oh my god. I This is another problem. Okay. A thousand YouTube videos later. And, uh, and I decided, hey, you know what? Everybody else is doing those rusty pot... Uh, advertisements right you know like the gambling things and I realized that like people will do sponsored videos on my channel so I suck some dick for some money why not I uh, I bumped up that I did an advertisement for that War Thunder game right and that game is basically like a money printing machine like they have a ridiculous amount of income and because kids like spend I guess their mom's credit cards on that game and uh is that a cave? No, there's no way. Oh my god, Jesus. Why why did why did he jump? He just like dove head first. Come on, get back there. Oh my god. It's gonna bring me down here, isn't it? I, I was thinking I could get back there. There there has to, I think there's a cave back there. Look at it. Doesn't that look like a void behind that? Behind that rock? Come on, pixel water. Bring me towards it. Why is that so pixelated? That's pretty bad. Okay. Another day. Another day we'll get to that. Come on, maybe we can see it from a distance. Dude, I'm telling you, there's something back there. Can't you see it? Huh. Anyways, so, uh, yeah, so I fucking, I, I did an advertisement for War Thunder. I think two of them, actually, right? And I, I just took all of that money into buying a new PC. And because I haven't had an upgraded PC in forever, and, like, everyone made fun of me because I didn't build my own. Oh, Sam, you didn't build his own. Look, I've been cobbling together this Franken PC for, like, forever, all right? Since before half of you were even sucking on your mom's teats. So, give me, cut me some fucking slack and let a man just buy a pre-built computer so I, I could still work. Let me up here. Oh my god, I'm right there! So I could still work and just get it in and it be finished, right? That's what I was hoping. And, uh, and so anyways, I went to that, those Origin PC people. Get, dude, you can fucking jump that shit. Don't even act like you can't do it. <laughs> Fuck! Oh my god. We'll we'll get it, do it. We'll get it. Hold on, hold on. This one right here. This is it. Dude, there's fucking no way. This is baffling me. You go up the little ridge on the right. That's what I'm trying to do. It looks like a it looks like a walkway. I could walk up that and I'm fat. He just like slips. He just his ankle gives out right here. What is this? It's like a magic slide. They are, they're making me go near Blackwater, is what it is. They don't want me to, they do not want me to have a fun time. <laughs> Fuck. What was that slide? What? That was, what the fuck? I just like 
fucking slid. <laughs> Dude, I am getting to flat ground up there and he refuses. I am standing. Oh my god. You know what? I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna. It's fine. I'm gonna go all the way around. You can't make me. I tried that for too long. You gotta be fucking me. I can go up that. I can go up this right here. I just, I climb like a vertical face right there, but I can't walk up a stupid incline. Jesus Christ. That's not even that steep. You know what, now that I'm looking down at it, that's pretty fucking, that's pretty fucking steep. I don't know what I was thinking. That one's pretty steep. <laughs> okay, but anyways. So, uh, I bought myself a fat PC, right, from Origin, Origin PCs. You know, not sponsored, because apparently I'm too vulgar to get a fucking sponsorship from Origin. Fuck you. So I order one from them. They cost an arm and a leg, but it was free money that I got from doing that War Thunder video. It took me, what, like a couple days of my time. I get a big-ass PC, Beef Master Flex. And I'm talking, I went all out. I got everything that they provided. Everything. I even got, like, a little board so I can hook up my uh, VR headset and fucking whack off in my office at ease. So this bitch has, you know, all the, uh, everything I would need. I don't even need a streaming PC because it's like, it's just such a little beefy shit monster that I, I shouldn't need one. It's just strong enough on its own, right? And so I'm so excited to get it. I get it. And I'm so excited to stream with it, right? And so I put out a poll on Instagram, like, hey, what game you guys want to see me stream? Because I haven't been able to stream anything good on PC in a long time. And what do I get? Red Dead. A fucking game on PS4. So I'm not even using my PC, really. It's just encoding. That's it. But I was thinking I'd play, like, some Tarkov or something. No, I was actually planning on playing Rainbow Six Siege at something above. Do you guys realize that I was, I was streaming Rainbow Six Siege... At probably 15 frames per second. Like every time you... Yeah. At 720p at 15 frames per second on my old computer. That shit was garbage. This guy's asking if I'm going to play Fallout 76. The, the bait is not on. Dip ass. I did play it earlier though. I played it... Uh, uh, I played it today. Uh, for like a couple hours. And initially... You know I'm going to tell you something? Initially... I was not a huge fan of that game. But, here's where the big stinky butt comes in. Alright, this is what I'm exploring, by the way. I'm going to move in here. Okay. Uh, if you guys want to know, like my play style is not to do the story, really. I've done a little bit of it. I'm, all the, I'm down here now. But, I've ex I'm just exploring the farthest reaches of the map. And, uh... And that's what I'm doing right now. Because I realize this keeps going down farther. So. What was I talking about? Oh yeah. Fallout 76. I played it with Brian. And you know. Brian's. A real, he's kind of a pessimist ass. Which that's fine. You know. It's okay to be that. But. Um, come on. Get your fat ass up there. No. Not going to happen. Fine. I'll go this way. Oof. Oh my god. Once again. We're, we're fucking hitting the. We're hitting the dabs on this one, Chief. If I slide all the way down this mountain, I'm going to shit. Okay, I'll just take the road. I didn't want to go that way anyway, so I'll take the road. Fucking normies with their roads. So I was playing Fallout 76 with Brian. He wasn't having a fun time, and I was just talking to my friends and stuff. The point of that game is the multiplayer world. Today, I got on it, right... I was kind of, I was, I was by myself. I was in the middle of a little town and I was whooping some ass. Oh, yeah. And then all of a sudden, this guy just next to me comes out of nowhere and he's like, hey, you General Sam? Like, yeah, that's me. And he was like, hey, uh, I got some friends that are nearby. You want to come play with us? And I was like, sure. And so I just met these random guys and we hung out for the rest of the afternoon. And it was uh, it was kind of a blast just meeting people. That's a ra hey, I discovered why that horse was dead down there. You see that carriage? Oh, it slid all the way down. What the heck?
Look at what we got here. Oh, a tree stopped it. Yo, that would be kind of a cool picture. Hold on a second. Hold on. Yo, that, that's it right there, dude. I mean, come on. Acting like I'm not going to grab a picture of this. Although, I, I think I have to make room. Come on. You know what? We're going to have to get, like, a better uh, angle of, like, it kind of, like, aiming down the cliff. Is there a way to... Hold on. I want to I wanna get, like, a... If I get, like, higher up... and Dude, get this stupid branch out of my way. Fuck. I want to get, like, higher up so I can kind of, like... You can see what's beneath it. So it doesn't just initially look like, you know, it's just a picture of a wagon. There we go. I wanted to, you know, I wanted to be able to show that uh, there's some cliff action going on. You know, add some peril to the scene. So you can see what's happening here. Now, if this camera had an actual decent depth of field, this would be a spicy meatball. I'd be able to, like... No, that wouldn't look good. Hmm. Hmm, it's still not working here. Just because there's not like a thin enough depth of field for you to really... Well, I don't think the background is far enough away from the foreground to really give you a decent shot. Maybe I could get like something through the center of it. You know, like... You get like a picture down here. No, there's nothing to like... There's no subject at the end. Hey, wait. Can I do, like, a self-portrait this way? Is there any decent self-portraits I could do? Eh, that's kind of all right. Let me get my arms crossed. You know what? You know, just because of the pirate hat, I might make room for this one. I got some real stinkers at the back end of my uh, my social club thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there is a slav squad I could have done. Oh, for those of you that missed the last stream, I uh, ended up filming uh, The Revenant, basically. Uh, I gotta... Wait, hold on. These things have to fucking load and they're taking forever. Yeah, I got like this guy fighting a bear. You know, um, some might say it did not turn out well for him. Uh... <laughs> you know, you might be right. Okay, hold on. Let's go on down here. Oh, wait. I never liked this one. This one's a stupid picture. It's like this... The turtle guys. These dudes. Get out of here. Delete that. Hot Wheels. Delete that. The title is Hog Tying People to Railroad Tracks, but he literally did that once. My I'm sorry. I'm Max, it 160p. Uh, hey, thanks, Default Port, for the Tier 2 sub for seven months. God damn. Yeah, I'm sorry. I thought it would take a little bit longer to find someone, hogtie them, put them on the railroad tracks, and then get, like, a train to come by. And, like, the first minute, the guy walked by, grabbed him, and then, like, I heard the train coming, so I just threw him down, and he got fucking ran over. I mean, what do you want me to do? All right? That's like, uh... You know, you ever set out to do something, and then it gets done in like a minute? You know? That's how I conceive my kid. Sometimes things happen faster than you think. <laughs> Alright. I should have, uh... Oh, I never deleted that? Fuck! God damn, I'm really fucking around here. Stop interrupting me, people. Jesus. I'm just going to scroll down. I'm not even going to... I went pretty far down. There's a bunch oh, of garbage yeah. pictures down here. Oh, perfect example of a garbage picture. Look at these. What are these stupid things? Get this one out of here. I knew there wasn't 96 keepers on this roll. Hey, Josh Cools 86 Thanks for the sub, man. And Frisky Lumberjack. Thanks for the dollar. Curious if you're a fan of Tom Segura. Kind of the same wheelhouse as Burr and Louie. Um... He's all right. I saw that. See, my problem is, is every my introduction to these people, uh, like Tom Segura and that other dude, um, 
Chris Delia, I think is his name. It, it's always the H3 podcast, which is, they're not, I mean, Ethan is a lot of things, but one of them is not exactly a great conversation. Like he's, he's not great at making funny conversations. You know what I mean? Like he's trying, I feel like he's trying to be fucking Walter Cronkite on some of these things. I'm like, what are you, why are you so fucking serious? You're supposed to be like an entertainer. And he's, He's always asking people, like, the most dead-ass serious questions. Like, do you think that? With his fucking eyebrows going all over the place. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Okay. That, okay. I should have fucking seen that coming for some reason. I was thinking I could get to the end and take a picture. I was thinking maybe... Maybe I might be able to do, like, I don't know, like a down at the horse or something. Like one of those uh, crime scene photographs. Didn't work. Wait, I think they at least spawned me near it. On the other side of the fucking river. You gotta be shitting me. God damn it. Don't worry, guys. You only waited for me to get across this river for about an hour and a half. Oh, wait. No, no, no. They put me on the right side of the river. Okay. Because here's, here's the, uh, the extra special place that I couldn't get up. Which I don't... I think it, this game, like, plays tricks on you. Because it does it. It seems so steep from this angle. And then... But when you're down there, it doesn't seem steep at all. I think it's like the wide viewing angle or something. But from my point of view, I was like, why can't he go over there? That's easy town. I could walk up that. And then I look at it now, it's like a 70 degree angle. Not fucking Spider-Man. Why the hell did I think I could do that? You know, if... Oh, shit. Are there any alligators around here? You know, I was kind of hoping uh, Jack would get eaten by an alligator uh, in the swamp area. But then I realized that um, he's in Red Dead. the pre Like, he's in the, I guess, the sequel, which is the first one. Uh, why'd they name it Red Dead 2 if it's the prequel? That's a real kick in the dick there. You know what? If we're going to go ahead and talk about this, we need to devote some time to it. Okay, so they came out with Red Dead Revolver, right? Which was a shitty game, and I think they knew it. Uh, and so then they came out with the Red Dead Redemption to redeem themselves. Okay, now I feel like if you're going to do a prequel to Red Dead Redemption, and you already have Red Dead Revolver, Red Dead Redemption, then you should, your third one should have a different name, shouldn't it? Like Red Dead something? I don't know. Anything? Not Redemption 2. That's stupid. It's not like they were they were like, oh man, we want people to make sure that they know it's a it's a game that takes place in the Red Dead series or something. I don't know. It's a Rockstar game. They could make Pong 2 and it would do really well. People just eat up whatever they make. Okay. Red Dead Repeater. Yeah, there you go. Well, wait, hold on. They had Red Dead Revolver. And then they had... Yeah, so it has to be an R word. Oh, yeah! You'd be the Red Dead Rapist. I don't think that would go over too well with some people. <laughs> Alright, um... Okay, so that's where the thing is... Oh, wait, no. The thing's behind me. Now we're at a crossroads... Oh my god, I went into fucking idiot territory. Take a fuck, take a right, take a right, take a right, take a right. What am I doing? Oh no. Get out of here. Please tell me there's a way out. There's not a way out, is there? There, oh my god, there's people right behind me. Jesus Christ, let me out of here. Oh my fucking god.
you know, if they end up making another one where it's like uh it's like John Marston in his old age or something. Uh oh wait, I forgot about the ending of Red Dead One. Never mind. Well, if they do one of Jack in his old age, it could be Red Dead receding hairline. Since they're gonna go with the back to back R words. Okay. I'm starting to feel like maybe, perhaps, you know, I'm just going to go up the river. I'll go up the river. You can't, you can't mess that up. Long time, girl. Yeah. The girl, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Zephyr567 in chat says, the girl I've liked for two years is becoming trans. What do I do? Now, by becoming trans, what do you mean by that? Is that she's going through the surgery to get a penis? Or is she just starting to dress like a dude? Like, what, what, you know, what's the problem here? Because if she's just going all out, getting the old dick put on there, then, you know, that might, that might hamper the deal a little bit. But, you know, if you're just, if you're just going to end up having a, you know, a girl with some armpit hair, What's wrong with that? Yeah, just bro it out. Nothing wrong with that. All right, what what was the what was this guy's name again? I need to make sure I see his thing when he when he pops up. <laughs> I I don't know what color his name was. It's killing me now. Oh, yeah, she's straight up becoming a dude. Okay, well. This is the weird thing here, because I'm not really totally literate on the whole uh, transgendered thing. And I feel like that if you ask questions, you get in trouble. Um, so, because I'm not, like, I didn't just, you know, believe it or not, my life doesn't revolve around other people's sexual preferences. You know, as self-centered as I am. But, uh, that... Uh, a girl that's becoming a dude, like, what's she into? You know, does that mean she just wants to pork women with her hot dog dick? Or, and where do they get the dick? Do they just steal it off another dude? Do they, I think they, like, cut up some of, the, like, their thigh or something and, like, roll it up? Like a bratwurst? Like, what's going on there? Uh, another thing, yeah, like, what, what would she be into? I got questions here, is is all I'm saying. And I feel like if you ask questions, you get in trouble. People are like, oh my god, I, I just can't, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. he doesn't know. How insensitive. He doesn't know? No, I don't fucking know. I'm sorry I don't spend all day wondering what chicks that want dicks want to fuck. All right? I got bigger things on my mind. When's the next Chick-fil-A meal? Well, what am I going to have for dinner? Hey. My stomach's rumbling. I feel like I got a shit. That's what goes through my day. All right. I'm not, I don't sit there and stop and just go, hey, uh, a woman, biologically a woman, decides to get a dick. Wonder what she wants to fuck. You know? You ever thought about that? <laughs> it just never occurred to me until this guy said it. <laughs> I know I've just been talking forever. And the guy's probably already spoke in chat. I just. I totally missed it. Oh, okay. Here he is, Zephyr. Zephyr's 567. That's who it is. No, she says she felt like she was born the wrong body, so she feels trapped, I guess. No, I, I, I get that. I understand that. That's, that's fine. But what I don't know is, like, what preference would she have afterwards? Does she, she feels like a man, so she's probably going to want to smash women, you know? If she feels like she's always been a man, then she would be smashing women. I mean, what's the point of getting a, a whole surgical penis attached if you can't go smash some puss with it? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, Zephyr, I don't mean, uh, you know, I can't think of a nicer way of saying this, but <laughs> you just got outplayed. <laughs> you can't argue your way out of that one. You go to ask her out and she's like, yeah, sorry, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting a dick. And I'm no longer a woman. <laughs> you can't come around for us. <laughs> I guess she's going to fuck dudes. Oh, okay. 
Dude, you got outplayed there. I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, worst case scenario, you just end up fucking her anyways. Or him. I'm sorry. You know, why not? What's the worst that could happen? Some areas are blocked off by bounty hunters by Rockstar to prevent you from going to areas that you're not supposed to go yet. Oh, hey, thank you for that Linus Tech tip there. Papaya Hayden, pa Papa Hayden 00, zero, zero, whatever the fuck your name is. Okay, so the reason why I can't go there is because of the thing. Can I fucking shoot this thing? Where'd my horse go? Horsey, come here. Yep. Okay, so bounty hunters are blocking off my entrance into uh, West Elizabeth or the Great Plains region. So as long as I don't go there, unfortunately, th this is like the fucking Grand Canyon. It doesn't really look like that on the topographical map or whatever. I guess it does. So you see all these little squiggly lines, you know, classic indicators of height. I guess I just wasn't reading the map right. But uh, I never thought I would get stuck in this valley. So I just need to stay outside of the, the zone there. I can get into this place. I just have a $10 bounty there. This place, wanted dead or alive, that's where the... That's where the real meat and potatoes is. I'm not messing with that. Idiot. This place is hard to fucking navigate. God damn. It's it's just like oh, rock yeah. cliffs everywhere. Hey, error 404, user not found. Thanks for the sub. And why are my guns all messed up? It's got me in this stupid thing. Oh, let me get my show field. My Lancaster and my rolling block. Oh, yeah, now we're rolling with it. I know I've been I've been on the hunt to explore this place. Oh, yeah. This entire stream. And I I just now got here. By the way, when daylight comes, this place is gonna be beautiful. Oh my god, and that's east. The sun Dude, guys, the sunrise is going to be right there. Do you understand that? Okay, and let me tell you something. There's a little photography meme here. Okay, so uh, the reason why you don't see many photographers out in the middle of the day is because way too much sunlight. It's like high contrast. looks like ass. Everything looks like blown out and gross. So people wait for what's called the golden hour where... You take a photo, it's like the hour after sunrise and the hour after sun, or the hour of sunrise and sunset, where it's just nice, diffused, ambient light. And it's usually because the light's traveling through the atmosphere, it's like it's different hues, right? Looks good. Well, in this game, because of the sped up time scale, like cycle, you know, it, it, it was it like a second is a minute or something like that. That golden hour is, it's actually less than that because I've seen it. The golden hour is like six seconds. And so if I'm going to capture a nice picture of this lake, because uh, the moon's like, I love the nighttime in this game. It's so fucking bright. This is middle of the night, by the way. You can tell by the crickets. Other than that, you can tell by the giant moon that is absolutely blinding over there. It just looks like a second sun. But I would have to get into like a beautiful little spot to snip snap a picture. I'm not going to lie to you, Chief. I think I could do this one. That's so... It's directly east. It's going to look like such a spicy meatball. God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not the sun, I'm telling you, dude. That's the moon. Hold on. Look at this thing. It's the moon. It's like, it's, you know, we'll wait till it's behind the trees. It's just really fucking bright. This game's ridiculous. Hey, Ianisa Boy, or whatever your name is, thanks for the sub. Kezi, Kezi, thanks for the sub. 
Maybe I can, uh... I think the other side would actually have a better angle. Fucking come over here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. Come on. Get up. Dude, come on. Don't do this to me. <gasps> oh, all right. That's fine. I wanted that. That's what I wanted. Hey, you know what? This isn't a half bad angle. Come on. Let me look here. Nah, you know what? I'm not feeling it on this one, Chief. I wanted to get, like, the diamond shape of the whole lake. You know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna... On. I'm just gonna save this place in my mind. Where the fuck am I? Oh, I'm at the mouth of Awan, Awanjila. And I'm gonna save... Save game. Because I, I know you guys don't want me to sit there fucking <laughs> waiting for sunrise to happen so I can get a fucking stupid picture of a lake. I'll cut you guys some slack. Come on, horsey. We got things to do. We got places to go, people yeah. to do, all the good stuff. Have you guys noticed that Arthur really doesn't have any love interests in this game? You know, he kind of max on some bitches. And when you're in saloons and stuff, women, it sh they like advance towards him. What is up with this guy? Hello? Who put a rock in the middle of the road? Hey! You there? Hi. Hey. Do you mind watching my stuff while I head to find another wagon? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, sure. You're a kind man. I'll be back. Fit as a fiddle. Boss ain't gonna be happy about this. How long is it gonna take him to find that? Could swear there's normally ain't rocks on this road. That guy's drunk as shit. I don't even think there's a rock on the road. How do you wreck? God damn. Yo, can I just steal this stuff? Ooh, Valyrian root. I'll take that. What? I got negative meme for that? Come on, fuck off. There's no way he's going to get a... He doesn't actually come back with anything, does he? That guy just... He just left. He just walked out into the middle of nowhere, didn't he? I don't even see him anymore. He comes back with a rare gun. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I'm sorry, guys, but we're waiting here, whether you fucking like it or not. Ooh, look at that nice golden pocket watch. We'll take. Thank you. Epic. How do you live with yourself? <laughs> what do you mean? He goes to sleep on a tree? Okay, hold on. I'm going to go the direction that he went. I'm going to find this fucking guy. Because if you say he, he fell asleep on a tree, that would be classic rock star, making me wait around. Because I would sit there and wait, I swear. Oh, he's right fucking here. What the hell? You know, that would be a good picture in and of itself, but you know what? I'm not going to fuck with that. I'm going to try to wake him up. Hey. Excuse me. Why? He's not, he's not waking up anytime soon, I don't think. Okay. What we're going to do here is we're going to we're gonna beat him once. Wakey, wakey. 
Can I not hit him? Oh, there we go. Don't hurt me. Please, God. Take out his fucking leg. There we go. Oh, that killed him? Oh, he might have that gun you were talking about. Maybe this guy isn't a liar after all. He had $4, a chocolate bar. You know what? That's probably the best loot I've ever gotten in this game. $4 and a fucking chocolate bar. What an absolute legend. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to just, like, take out his foot. I was trying to, like, shoot it off or something so he would be alive still. But, uh... Alright, and whoever told me that, yeah, just wait there, he'll come back with a rare gun. If it wasn't for Night Deer, I, I was that close to just sitting there like a jackass. So thanks for that. That's cool, girl. Roach is the only horse worth a shit. I forgot about Roach. What a nasty name, too. Can you get Roach in this game, or is it just John Marston's horse? Okay. All right, so that guy's dead there. Supposedly, I've explored this. Oh, no, it's getting it explored as I go. I think that's just, like, drawn on the map that, uh, okay, it, the dark outline is where I've actually been. So I'm going to go all the way up this river, and then I'll, um, oh, I'll yeah. take a left. Oh, my God, look, look. You see that all the way up there? Hey, T Diamonds, thanks for the sub, man. Oh, you can't see it from here. Come on, let me get on my binox. You're going to be absolutely flusterated and blown away. What's that? You see that? There's something up there. No, I didn't want to... God damn it. Oh, apparently I got Miracle Tonic. I didn't want that. I was... I was gonna pull out my two golden pistols. They call me Pistol Pete. Let's put this away from now. We'll go see what's going on over here. Oh, it's not even a wagon, it's an actual settlement. And it has a guy here. Look at that. Oh, it's the trapper. Dude, look at this guy out in the middle of nowhere. What's up, Chief? Good to see you again. Oh, what do you have for me? Uh, let's sell All stuff. Right, let's have a look. Herbivore bait, cover scent lotion, gun oil. I'm not selling any of that shit. Never mind. What can I buy from this guy? Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. Whoa! I can't quite see that because of how fucking dark it is. Look at that hat. Can I just get the hat? I don't have the stuff for it. Dude, that hat is legendary. Look at that thing. I don't have shit, dude. I'm really, you know, I'm... I Seriously, when it comes to this game, in terms of, like, what I've completed, I have killed a lot of people, and that's it. That's all I've done. I've also beaten up a lot of, like, people, too. But I got a pirate hat, if that makes you feel any better. You know, my guy's looking pretty cool with his pirate hat and his mutton chops. Can't forget the mutton chops. Ain't closer to him? He's, like, falling asleep while standing up. All right. Thanks, Mr. I think I'll pull my way out of here. Uh, why was he out? He was so far out. It's on like the edge of the world. Last time I had the trapper anywhere, he was right here next to Wallace Station. Which, that's like on the edge of civilization where I'd expect a trapper to be, but not out here. <coughs> like, goddamn, son. Alright, now I need to cross the river and go over into that place. Which is this away. Wait. I need to go weast. That's where I need to go. 
Uh-huh. That looks shallow enough. For the horse, at least. All right. Completely uncharted territory now. So, I might be stopping for stupid things, like photographs once again. Will you fucking go? It's like stuck on a boulder. Move! Oh, my God. The only... My only legitimate frustration with this game are the horse paths. These things... Fucking move! Oh my, once again, they just like get caught up on weird things. And they have a mind of their own. I think there's like some sort of fluidity that they try to have with how they like, they navigate, right? And so they expect like while you're galloping, it'll kind of like weave in between stuff. Well, what that means is if there's like a rock on the right, it'll avoid it and it'll just like run you into a tree and there's nothing you can do about it. Because it's like, oh, we're trying to steer for you. By the way, we're about to hit that uh, that golden hour. I'll show you how fast this shit comes. Check this out. All right, so I'm facing east right now, right? This isn't it right now. This is just like uh, the moments before sunrise. And it'll start to hit. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me eat some crackers. Or a chocolate bar. Wait, hold on. There we go. That did not restore anything that I needed it to. Uh... Do I have some crack crackers? Really? All I have is candy and alcohol. That's all I got. Is there anything in here about health? This. Dude, come on. Drink the Kentucky bourbon. There we go. You see that? You see that, like, pink? Right? Right? Beautiful. I get pink for a second, and it's basically gone already. <laughs> it gets like, I'm telling you, like that magic hour is like six seconds. Where you actually get like a cool hue of color. It's already, it's gone already. Now you just have like regular sunlight. That took like... Yeah, so like if you want to get like a really wacky and wild shot, you have to be there on time with your camera, framing and everything set up, and just wait for that time, and then boom. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think... Oh, yeah, I'm at like the actual physical edge of the map. Oh. Okay. I get what's going on here. This is literally the edge of the map. I'm not allowed to go any farther into... The first game's map. Hey, Dalton and freaking bro, thanks for the sub, man. I appreciate it. Okay, so this is where I'm just going to start sliding everywhere. I guess I'll, I should cruise inland a little bit and look for stuff. I thought this was going to be, like, farther down. It's just a little nub that you can go to. Almost demoralizing in a way. I was expecting some some nice exploration over here. Yep. Wait, nah, he didn't spoilers. What the fuck are you guys talking about? Are you guys spoiling over here? Hey, guys, no spoilers in this thing, all right? At all. I don't want to see any spoilers. Besides the classic Snape kills Jesus at the end of the Bible. <laughs> Don't forget about that one. Yep. I don't know if you guys remember when the last book of Harry Potter came out, but people were fucking hard scoping that spoiler so hard. It was so annoying. You couldn't go, like, I, I read it in solitude, but I could imagine what I would have felt like getting that spoiled for me. Because seeing other people just crying. They're like, I haven't finished the book yet. And you, t you took it away from me. You took it away. It's like on the verge of tears. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Bruce Willis is really dead in the sixth sense. That's a movie that has not aged well at all. 
Alright, this is the edge of civilization here. Won't let me go any farther, I don't think. Will it? Let's see. See, it's like guiding itself. I don't... I don't know. That's weird. Like, won't let me go any further. Or it, it just keeps, like, guiding me into trees. Like, trying to knock me off. What's at the very corner of this map? Maybe it's something special. Hello? Mimi? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What do we got here? I didn't realize how high up we were. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Hold on. It, I keep getting that thing where it's like... So I got this, this PC from Origin, right? I told you guys that already. One of my biggest frustrations with it is it it came... Oh, apparently I'm fucking dead-ass cold. I probably should have brought a coat. It came, right? And they did like an auto... Or they... You know, it's a new thing of Windows, so it has, uh, it has to update. And of course, Windows shoves everything down your cock now. Without you even asking. And one of the things that pisses me off is they automatically downloaded the update. Right? But now... Every fucking, like, minute and a half. No, realistically, it's probably every 30 minutes. It pops up and goes, Hey, want to restart your computer and uh, apply this update? And or, We're going to do it in 15 minutes for you. How about that? And I have to manually say, No, please don't do that. And But then, when I go to restart to update, it fucking fails to update. So either there's something wrong with the update or there's something wrong with the computer. I don't know which, but I feel like I got absolutely shafted. Not too happy about the situation because I spent a day and a half setting up all my recording software, everything the way it was supposed to to go, right? And then um and then now I I realize that I can't even fucking update the stupid thing. And I don't know how to like tell Windows to re-download the same update that it already has. Because it's it's very convinced that it can apply it. Don't worry. It's like, hey, don't worry, fam. Whether you like it or not, this shit's going down your throat. And uh, it irritates me to no end. Need to run Windows Repair Tool. I am not reinstalling Windows. I refuse. I will sit at the same update of Windows for all of eternity. Before I... Ooh, look at that, dude. If these trees weren't here... That is a sassy mama right there, dude. Look at that. If I could just, like, get rid of those trees and I could... That's a, that's an Ansel Adams shot right there. You get the, the winding river uh, with the mountain peaks, you know? And if I could get, like, a thunderstorm happening over there with, like, rays of light... Sometimes you'll get, like, little rays of light uh, in the mornings and stuff. Especially through fog. Hmm. Yeah, that would be a spicy meatball. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, how do I get back to civilization? I'm really on the edge of, of tomorrow here. Here, I'll go collect debt from this guy. Winston Holmes. Idiot. Just have to go down here. And break my horse's legs. No spoilers. Okay, okay. Are you talking to me or are you talking to them? Night there, are you telling me what to do or are you telling them what to do? Because let me tell you something. You have the authority to do one of those things. And I swear to God, if it's the one that I don't like. <laughs> oh, you're telling them. Okay. Yeah, no spoilers in chat. I'm actually, I was trying to keep this relatively spoiler free. I wasn't going to do like any of the story mission type stuff. And I wasn't going to do anything in uh, uh, around my camp because I didn't want them to say stuff. We just fucking go? Look at this horse, dude. It's... Just go. You got plenty of room. Walk. Oh my god. What are you doing? I'm so flustrated. Chase down that deer. Show it what's, what's going on. <laughs> I fucking ran it over. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Are you going to stream the next 76 session? Maybe. Uh, it's tomorrow, right? I was thinking about just working on a video tomorrow, but, you know, I think that's actually not a bad idea, just streaming a Fallout 76 session. But my problem is, is because there's so much, like, public game chat, people uh, have been... And I like having, like, my mic on. Oh, it's Thursday. You know, I might do it on Thursday. Yeah, the problem is, is that because they force you to, like, hot mic, I love talking to people. And... They, but they usually end up screaming something horrible. Apparently I wasn't paying attention, and I hit that guy, and now everyone's pissed. Great. Okay, okay. Hold on. Hold on, chief. Jeez! <laughs> That's so stupid. I blew his fucking head off, apparently. I gotta go, I gotta go check that one out. Excuse me, sir. God damn, that's what happens when you put way too many fucking dead eye... Dead eye hits on one guy. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I, Well, I was kinda like pissed off with them, cause they just flipped out on me for wrecking a horse. That seems a little bit absurd. Not only that, but I love how the, the karma thing happens in this game, where it's like, if it's just like an accident, because, you know, accidents happen. There's no need to go crazy. But if it is an accident, and you end up having to kill someone, then it, like, negatively affects your karma a lot. And it's annoying. For example, this these guys came out of a saloon and fucking attacked me. They attacked me. I turn around, kill them, right? And then I get in trouble for it. I don't under, like, I get this huge bounty on my head because of it. Who's this guy? I just saw the, the question mark. All right, this might be spoilers here. I, this is a, a strange encounter. I don't know, guys. Sorry about this. Well, what's eating you, partner? Eating me? Well, I'm sorry. I'll dry up. What? See, I'm, uh... Hey, can I ask you a strange question? I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the level. I don't have a clue what you just said. Well, I'm sorry, sport. Uh, there's these funny rock carvings. They look a bit like this. Okay. Yeah, well, the thing is, I sort of, like, really badly have to find all of them. Now, it's sort of a puzzle thing to me. Eh, uh, I know, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the up and up, and it's really important. Little rock carvings. Yeah, exactly, little rock carvings. What do you want to do with it? Well, it's sort of very complicated, and you'll think I'm jazzed if I tell you. You're what? Drunk. Are you? No, huh, I wish. No, I'm, uh, lost. It's a long story. Can you find the carvings? I have no idea. Oh, actually, uh, do you mean these? Yes! He yes! doesn't seem like he's from the Western days. Oh, but where's the rest of them? What rest of them? No, I need all of them. Then I'll pay you handsomely. Let me sketch these down. Here's my card. What if I can't find the rest of them? Well, I'm sure you can, sport. I'm sure you can. Francis Sinclair. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. But I don't understand. Why do you need these things? Well, I told you. If I told you, you'd think I was on the hooch. What? I'm gonna have a lie down. I don't feel very well. And neither would you. If... Eh, but, hey, what harm could it do? What a you know what he sounds like? He sounds like he's from, uh, uh... What is that? A uh, transatlantic accent? Yep. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Yeah, the uh, that guy's accent was like the transatlantic accent, I think. I think that's what the, he was going for there. But he sounds like a uh, fucking uh uh the Great Gatsby. You know, like I was always calling people sport. Like, oh, they all sport. I don't know. He sounds like a gay well, that's kind of like what transatlantic sound people sound like. Yeah. I guess. Alright, this is what I'm going for here. I gotta go... Uh, you know, it's not even like a main story thing. It's just uh, what I'm about to do here is uh, one of the ways that your people get money is uh, there's you have this one German dude. 
and he does like loan sharking, and then you end up having you're, you're like the strong arm dude. You have to go collect the money that they're unable to pay because he gave him a loan at some ridiculous interest rate. And people that get loans from loan sharks, they never have the fucking money to pay back, anyways. Here we go. And turn this way, and we'll go across here. Do it. There you go. Good horse dog thing. Okay. Jesus, just get me on a fucking road. Or a path or something. Finally. I'm tired of having to, like, weave and go around stuff. <laughs> That's the best assessment of Strauss I've ever heard. Strauss is a cunt and his glasses are stupid. <laughs> yeah, he's he's not the best. Alright, this guy's around here somewhere. I gotta hunt him down, show him what fur. Apparently this guy's a trapper. Or a hunter or something. Wait, I could use like my hunting site to figure out where the hell he is. He's around here somewhere, I can sniff him. Or maybe he's not, I can't fucking see him anywhere. Why would they put him in the middle of the fucking woods? Is he up here? I don't- hello? The guy that I'm here to beat the shit out of for money, where art thou? I don't even see a trail around here. I'm in the right spot, right? My horse is not gonna die. It's it's sitting like right across the road from me. Wait, wait there's a house right here. He might be at the house. I think that might be where he is. Come on, man. Uh-oh, uh-oh, on that one. Oh, there he is. Look, there's a little camp right here. I am so low on health. Hello? Winston? Win Holmes? I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Mm. Funny. How far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I've seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Mm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat. The pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. Please, I'm out of work. He just hard scoped him. The only him. way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. Dude, my mutton chops are looking too fucking good in that cutscene. Jesus cool. Christ, I think I just got a little boner right there. That's how French people say boner. Well, um, uh, need our horses? It's um, quite a trip. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's do it. Right, drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive. Okay, follow me. He sounds like dirty old Driscoll scum. He does, dude. Make come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name is all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fella, then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious. That this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I'm mean, I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. I hate how, like... Uh, um, do you understand how Southern... Or not how Southern, how, like, Western... Rates, this guy's voice no is? It's ridiculous. I said I do my he is the most Western dude I have ever heard. You're continuing to annoy me. You're continuing to annoy me, boy. 
Nobody fucking talks like that. I don't even think anybody talked like that in the Wild West. Right There's no Not way someone was that fucking Western. Or I've said, like, when I was editing that, uh, my one Red Dead video, hey, there was... How about this day? I guarantee we paid it. Because I'm going to get that money out of here. Um, I was editing that segment where he, like, does the, the shooting thing with the Mexican dude. And when he's, like, a real American gunslinger, like, nobody sounds that fucking Western. There's no way. Sounds like Yosemite Sam or something. Why'd we have to go up river? This one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? I've never they seen one wildcat. Is they see you, not the other way around. Whoa, wait, wait, there's That's cougars in this game? You see this one? I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. I didn't even know there's cougars in this game. I've never seen one. I sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Feed my horse. All right, hold on. Here, I'll feed it a beat. Try. There you go. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, yeah, look how happy my horse is now. There, does that make you fucking happy? Okay, now, okay, this guy's saying that a cougar killed his horse last night. That's, I don't like that at all. <laughs> This is it. Her den. I've had two horses die for tra from trains. All right, buddy. Dude, my horse is fucking dope. It's got like a red face. It's really vascular and sexy. Wait, wait, wait. It really do be like that sometimes. Damn, my guy's cold. Show me. You'll see her soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her shining in the dark. What about the Mimi story? Oh, you guys want to know where the Mimi came from? I forget. Oh, that, I think that came from Poob. Because Poob's insane. And Poob says weird stuff. And it wasn't intended to be like a... And I bet she's white as virgin cotton. Oh, wait. We just heard the, the cougar. It wasn't intended to be like a uh <laughs> The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. I don't like that. Look out for Yeah, yeah. I have a feeling he's just gonna like abandon my ass. Anyways, uh it was I don't think it was intended to be like a meme like like the word meme at first, but the way he said it was just like he was like, me, me want, like he was talking in third person and then he fucking popped out Mimi out of nowhere. I'm going to drop down here and it's going to attack me. <sighs> might as well get in first person. And might as well, hold on, take some tonic, baby. Epic. I can feel it. Oh my god, did you just hear him die? Fine, Winton. Okay, that's not good. I'm gonna go in first person because it's spooky. Don't mess around with me, boy. She got him. Crap. Damn, dead deader. Dude, get epic memed. Show yourself. Oh, penniless idiot. He had a dollar? You gotta be fucking me. How did I get negative memes for that? Like, I... <gasps> I can hear it. <laughs> uh, 
Suck my titty farts. <laughs> Was that a stock sound effect for the cat? That first one where it just goes... That did sound pretty stock, dude. That was pretty rough. <laughs> God damn. Ah, oh, hell yeah. Nice. It's what? Better be rare. Look at that. Even took off its little paws. Alright, let's see what else we got in here. There's another X over here, which means somebody else died. Damn, that thing's been killing a lot of things. What? Yeah, I killed another guy. Alright, drop the pelt real quick. I'm curious. Oh, I can't loot that guy. I have my light on, dirtbag. What are you talking about? Oh, are you talking about in my room? I can't have an immersive gaming experience if I have my light on. All right, you guys are just going to have to deal with this underlit Sam. Sorry, shit butt. Uh. Better luck next time, pal. <laughs> yeah, look, there's dead people all over this place. This guy looks like he's been here a hot minute. There's no way this one cat was killing this many people. It's not fucking Chupacabra. I can't see a damn thing. The light's like behind me, so it's illuminating my face. I can't see past me. Well, that was a hole. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know. Could that be a good picture? Kind of like looking up. Into the craft. You know what? I already have one good cave pitcher. I don't need two. Tigers do it all the time in India, so yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Get out of here, horse. Your man ain't coming. Oh, shit, dude. I like how they added... Let's go, girl. They added, like, stuff for that horse. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, what's that called? V like voice lines just for that specific thing. The attention to detail in this game is ridiculous. Loot the saddlebags. That guy didn't. He was penniless, dude. I'm not going back and looting the idiot's saddlebags. He didn't have any fucking money. He had a dollar on him. He was out in the middle of nowhere hunting oh, for a cougar. Yeah. Hey, let's yeet on this yeast. Thanks for the snub. <laughs> I just doubt he had anything. Take his horse and fence it. Oh, I didn't I didn't know you could fence horses. But I don't think there's a fence in strawberry, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna get this bitch down there, sell it for whatever it's worth. I just trampled a rabbit. Whatever. Hey, you're okay, girl. Oh, here we go. There's another one. Ah, oh, that was a raccoon. I almost had it. Okay, so are cougars, like, rare? Or are they just only in caves, or what? Because that's the first one I've seen, and that thing was terrifying. You know, it's not like GTA, where they just... attack you out of nowhere. There's a bunch of stuff in that guy's saddlebag. Well, look, I'm not going back. Alright, I'm not gonna... I refuse. This place is fucking awesome. Best town in the game, hands diggity down. Excuse me, why, miss? Get the fuck out of the road. Got shit to do. Trying to get down here to the butcher, but the roads are so close together. It's hard to navigate. Get, 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 get out of my way. Yeah, you know what I've been thinking about doing? You know how you're limited by the amount of pelts you can have? Check out this guy's cart. 
like he has like that little chariot thing right the little wagon i was thinking if i steal one of those i could just throw the pelts in the back and then i would have like unlimited pelts like i would just ride that bitch up back to town what can i do for you you would think it would be a lot i'd probably only get like dollar two dollar 38 bucks i'll take it but i've already got too many did you hear him? I'll take it, but I've already got too many. It's a fucking one-of-a-kind white cougar pelt, and this asshole's acting like I'm flooding the market. What a jackass. I'm not even, I'm not even mad. I'm just impressed that the guy would get something that rare and claim that he has a bunch of them. What a legend. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go grab, uh... I'm gonna grab some hair tonic. Wow, long time no see there. Oh yeah. Cause okay, I apparently you have to have hair tonic to make your fucking hair grow faster. Here we go, hair tonic. Sweet. I want four of them. No, I got three of them. Okay. You know, cause I wish they made hair tonic in real life, but they don't. There was a shootout. Let's see here. Miracle tonic, cocaine gum, bitters, open bitters, potent bitters. Did I go over it? Open bitters, potent bitters, age part rum, miracle tonic. Am I stupid? Health cure. Health cure, open health cure. Okay, what the hoot? Snake oil, chewing tobacco. Where's this thing at? Am I am I stupid? Oh, it's in the satchel. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Thanks. I thought it was in the, uh, th okay, hold on, special snake oil. What, what's this thing look like? Is that it? Hair tonic? There we go. Epic. All right, now that'll make my beautiful hair grow even faster. And I'll have, I'm trying to get, like, those fat mutton chops that lay down on my lapels on my jacket. You know, I'm hoping to get them pretty soon. My Arthur is so... He is so fucking tired. He is falling asleep while standing up. Look at him. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I blocking the road? I'm sorry, man. I apologize. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you crazy? You're mad. Oh my fucking god. I just, look, now they're upset with me. I got a bounty for running into a guy, is basically what just happened. And I'm just gonna run away this way. They can't, they can't stop me. Right, I'll go this way. You know what I should have done? Fuck! I was right there. I should have, you know, I'll go to rig station, since there's already somebody upset. And I'll, it's like right around the corner. I'll cheese it over to uh, east side of the map. And some guy was asking how far I am in the story. I really haven't done much in the story. I've been too busy finding pirate hats and doing stupid shit like that. But um, I haven't been, uh, I haven't been doing the story too much. I'm in the second part of it where your your like camp moves. So I'm in like the eastern bone zone over here oh wait a second what's that there's a big question marker room right there should I go check that out it's like right around the corner come on I mean why Why not at this point it's 1125 you know might as well go check out some new stuff that I haven't seen before I did the purpose of the stream in like the first minute and a half so it's uh, <laughs> I'm just 
<laughs> I'm fucking aimlessly wandering around at this point. Oh, see, there we go. Oh, this guy's a photographer. There we go. See, dude, I have been looking so hard for a like-minded individual. Finally. Somebody else that sees the beauty in this game. Oh, yeah. Is he taking a picture of his Louis Vuitton purse? Warner. Oh. Hello. Why is it day? It's beautiful, sure. man. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that, man. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. He's a wildlife well, photographer. I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy housefrau or pompous middle-class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? <laughs> Just... There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. Oh, I put gloves I'm on my guy. find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators... Kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes, not the easiest. But, well... Look at me, I got my tricorn on. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh, good heavens. My bag, that thing is robbing me. Oh, good heavens. Don't worry. That thing is a coyote. Sneaky one, too. A coyote. Wildlife photographer. All right, hold on, dude. I got my Lancaster repeater. I'm gonna fuck this thing up whenever I see it. Oh, there it is. Yo, motherfucker. Did it just run through the bush? You gotta be fucking me. Hold on, I got this. Oh, I can't shoot it. It won't let me. Drop the bag. Okay, this is like a scripted event. I was going to try to blow that thing away. Yeah, it, I don't think it'll let me shoot it. Where is it? Oh, it dropped the bag. Okay. And Kyle, don't think about coming back. Sweet. Oh, I can? Okay. I was trying to, and I it wouldn't let me, like, get a bead on him. Or it wouldn't let me enter Deadeye the second time. The first time, he had already ran through the bush, I think. But I, the second time, I was trying to Deadeye, and it wouldn't even let me enter it. So, I didn't think I could shoot him. Don't worry, dog. I got your bag of fucking sexy meat. Sexy hunks of meat. I know I was in the fucking investigative mode. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. Okay. All right. I was entering it the first time. I think I know what you're saying. The, like, the hey, third Sam, time. Here for a hot minute, and the fact that I'm still only a jabroni boy makes me mad. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, hey, monkey-lipped bandit. We'll Thanks for the resub for 11 months, man. The local population. You are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I'm, I can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm, thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm, uh, you take care, sir. <laughs> I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. Yeah, I was hoping I would get, like, a new camera. Like, that's what I was hoping would be one of the... Oh, wait, hold on, actually. If I could... Please, fun to attract any wildlife, huh? Need some privacy. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Hold on. Let me get, like, a front-facing. There we go. The jackass in the... Photography is not that interesting to the observer. Unless I am eaten, that is. Yeah, we fucking, like, focus? There we go. I need to move my horse. Horse, get out of there. Oh, my horse is this way. Okay, never mind. Here, I'll just I'll move around to the side on. I'm just trying to hard scope this guy real quick. 
Hmm. Watching fresh paint dry is more interesting than watching a man with his head in a camera, sir. Really. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. I'll save that one for later. All right. What is this? Passing by here. That's an unusual wagon. It's like a flatbed wagon. Oh, it's for like hanging wood and supplies and stuff. Okay. All right. Uh, now from here, I need to go to rig station because I was going to go down to the swamps. So you go down to the, the deep, sensual, sexy swamps. Fucking piece of shit. God damn it. Come on, girl. Not my fault on that one. Blaming that one on the horse still. <laughs> Horses in this game, dude. They're so stupid, I'm telling you. I need to get like a fat fucking bowl of soup or something. Why is this closed? It says it's not open. Oh, now it's open. Okay. Well, What's up, boss? Man. Need to pay my bounties. Liberty is worth every penny. I have a $10 one in West Elizabeth. Go for it. We'll make sure to send and one to West Elizabeth. I also need to go down to Rhodes. Traveling mercies to you. Sam, do you plan on beating the game? Nah, I usually just get games like this and, uh, you know, just play them for about five minutes and put them down. Yeah, I plan on beating the fucking game. Jesus. It's a good game. It's actually my favorite single player game I've played in like the past five years. It's pretty good. And that includes like, you know, Fallout 4 and stuff like that. Um, it's, it's just, uh, ah, it's beautiful. I can't find a flaw with it. Except for the, you know, when it comes to PC, I'm hoping, like, the aiming's gonna be a whole lot better. But once they add multiplayer to this meme, it should be pre it pretty good. It should be good. Over Witcher 3? You know, I played Witcher 3, and I liked it. And I know it's, like, of the same kind of cut from the same cloth as this game. But it doesn't have a lot of humor. And two, it's, I guess the world that it's in is not as interesting to me as this one. Because um, I've always thought, I, I think a lot of people get upset with this game because it's uh, the end of the Wild West. And, you know, it's not like the heyday of the Wild West. But I feel like that's the cool part. You know, it's like as these guys are like the last of a dying breed. And, you know, I just kind of like the, the setting and everything. Which, by the way, I think I, I talked about... That's I'm not sure if I talked about this during the last stream. But uh, I'd like to sit there and, and talk for a minute. Because, like, even in this game, they mention the fact that this is, like, the end of the Wild West. Like, the Wild West is over with, right? And then in the next one, which is, like, ten years later... John Marston is working so hard to uh, make sure that his family, he's trying to like clear his past and make like a legitimate life for himself. And like the, the marshals drag him back into the shit to clean up his, his past deeds, right? And he's doing all of this so that his son has a shot at a normal life. And then at the end, after Aussie everything after that happens, when Red Dead Online comes out. his son ends up, out of, like, revenge, basically becoming a gunslinger in 1910, right? So, you know, by 1910, the gunslinger days are fucking gone and over. So you know that Jack Marston ends up having, like, the roughest life of all time. I don't know what he would be. He probably ends up being, like, a Prohibition-era gangster or something like that. But 
uh, you know, it's not a pretty life, and it kind of means, like, John Marston's life is, you know, his whole death and everything was all in vain. By the way, spoilers, John Marston dies at the end of the first one. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, if you didn't know... Okay, I'm sorry. If you didn't know about Red Dead 1's ending, it's been, like, eight years. Okay? It's time for you to fucking get that shit. Yo, okay, yeah, but uh, here's another spoiler that'll make you happy. Uh, this guy's right. Uh, John Marston does survive Red Dead 2. I mean, because he's there in Red Dead 1. So... If you know, if you have something to look forward to, it's that. All right, I don't want to talk to this stupid idiot. Let me go over here and talk to this guy. No, wait, that's not the guy I want to talk to. Where's the other guy? There was another. Okay, yeah, I didn't want to do the money thing. I wanted. To, there we go. There's a question mark down here at the end of the road. Go over here and do this one. Yeah, you've had time, dude. Exactly. It, it came out in 2010. Like, come on. Is it this guy? What is up, Chief? You okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? I, I, am I sitting in the wrong place? Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself... Fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? They didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. Man wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me. I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Ooh. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm-hmm. You know, were you looking for that fellow's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks. Awesome, Macomb's Inn. All right. Um, they. Okay, girl. <laughs> yeah, the. Uh, I guess uh, oh, I'm gonna go get this guy's thing. Where's Macomb's Inn at? Macomb's Inn. Oh my god, it's all the way over there. Oh, that's uh that's a spicy meatball. That's really that's in the thick of it. How the fuck am I supposed to get there? Is there like a decent way of I go up and around? That way I don't have to cross the river. Okay. That's fine. No, this uh this game it's Okay, like I said earlier when I was talking about the lack of there was like a, there's a serious lack of, uh, uh, sexual partners in this game. And they, I, I remember seeing articles talking about, uh, Arthur Morgan can, you can even have gay cowboy sex. That's what they said in, uh, some article. And I haven't found that at all. Uh, I have found an instance where you can get raped. Now, sex kind of implies consensual, I would think. But, <laughs> unless that's what they're talking about, um... I haven't found any actual gay cowboy sex you can have. And you don't really have a love interest besides some lady that you just kind of shake hands with and wink at. So Arthur Morgan's kind of an incel, to be honest with you, Chief. And the, uh, not only that, they, so they took out any, any, like, sex you can have. You guys totally celibate. 
He helps out everybody. I just feel like they took all that stuff out to be thinking that it was like it was too offensive or something. I just I feel like some parts of this game got castrated because Rockstar didn't want to have any backlash from game journalists. I've never fucking seen a game journalist in the past five years have any article that had anything to do with just criticizing a game for anything other than social issues that the game brought up or, or lacked any sort of poignant stance on. Oh my god, uh, I can't believe it. They had a cowboy game and the main character didn't take a stance to social issues that were around in 1895. I really just feel like they missed an opportunity to really show that the Wild West was a place that had a lot of racial tension and your character could act like, you know, if they properly channeled what, you know, I think they should channel. Oh, I got another fucking restart my computer thing. I think that the main character should channel some sort of like social, you should champion social issues, you know, and I feel like that's what they ended up doing. Your guy ends up like, he, everybody, he has no biases. I think a proper anti-hero should be someone that you're kind of like, hey, this guy's kind of a scumbag, but he does the right thing some of the time. Or it should be your option. You know, you should have the option to, they should give you the option to be able to say, fuck you, get out of here, jackass. <laughs> I mean, come on. Think of that. This guy's like helping. Out. He's an outlaw. He's supposed to be a real piece of shit. That's the point. He's supposed to be a real piece of shit. You know what I mean? And like this guy is a saint. He is an absolute saint. Even like the good guys in this game are worse than you ethically. I guess maybe that's supposed to be the whole meme of it. Hold on. Maybe I should sneak up there. Hold on. Hold on. Let me look at my weapons here. I'm going to do a... Uh... Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to pull out that semi-auto shotgun. That's that. That's that one, Chief. All right, let's get it going on. All right, hold on. Let me look at the map. Let me look at the map. So I should be able to just steal this thing and go, right? Or do I need to actually fight all these guys? Because Mimi really don't want to fight, to be honest with you, Chief. I don't have a single throwing knife. Why is that guy aiming this way? Does he know I'm here? Can you hear me? Get here. Oh yeah, he told me to go away. He sees me. What the frickin'? How does he know I'm here? He just, he's like hard scoping me. Alright, you know what? Here, I'm going to do this the, the better way. Don't worry, Chief. Whoa! Oh! Oh my god, hold on, hold on. Jesus Christ. Christ, what was that? I'll go. That guy just came out of fucking nowhere and tackled me. He deserved the win on that one. Jesus. It scared the shit out of me. I just saw the red dot. Like That guy came at me like Brian Urlacher. He just came running in. Is there a person standing in that bush right there? We're good. What? My fucking hat?
That's something to get back on the wagon. Don't worry, I can get a replacement one on my horse. I think I'm good. I don't I don't want to I don't want to go back for it. Yeah, I have it saved. I'm good. I'm good. I have my hat. My hat. I can get my hat on the horse. Don't worry. Oh my fucking god. Really you going to do this to me, chief? Let's take out his horse too. Fuck it. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh oh. Hold on. There we go. Why does Sam look like someone from the trailer from Unfriended? Is that that horror movie about like Facebook? Because if it is, that's an epic premise for a movie if I've ever seen one. Dr. A. Renaud Proprietor. Awesome. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I was about to say, if I flip it, that's gonna be bad news, bears. I, was, I keep trying to like look at chat, but. The, the twists and turns of this old Tammy Road. It's not very safe. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna be I ain't gonna take my chances on that one, Chief. Yo, you know what I just realized? I'm able to- you guys are gonna fucking hate me. I'm able to stream Hunt Showdown at like 90 FPS now. So finally, you I have a reason to stream it. You guys are gonna be so happy watching Hunt Showdown streams. Oh my god, I can, I can smell your little clip boners from here. Hunt Showdown streams. You guys are so stoked on that. Can you, uh... Can you wait for the those uh, 20 minute load times? Hell yeah. Trying to find a match. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. Now, actually, I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, I think Tarkov is having a, um, a wipe soon. I'm going to make some... I'm going to make a Tarkov video. I'm going to see if I can hook up with uh, uh, Cotton. You know fella, don't you? If you guys know that guy, Cotton's like a big Tarkov dude. I'm gonna see if I can hook up with him. I don't know how I'm gonna get in touch with him, cause uh, my Twitter got banned. But. Look who it is! I did not count on seeing that wagon again. No, you for that matter. The only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Ah, it wasn't a trouble, now was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, yeah. let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, Is it cocaine? Got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. Well, I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. Nice. All right. Well, that was good. Oh, look at that. My uh, my my little bar at the bottom. I'm like super evil, and it, it went up a good deal for that one. Because I helped out the black man, and it didn't give me any option to not help him out. So, actually, you know what? I take it back. All right, your guy is your guy is super nice to everybody, right? But I guess, theoretically, if you want to be a super dick, I could have said all those nice things and then just after the cutscene shot him in the face. I guess if you if you wanted to be evil, you could. But you still... You don't have, like, a... You know, there's no option for dickhead dialogue or anything. Yeah, I could have just shot him. Now, I think, I think what happened was uh, on, on Twitter... I had my account permanently deleted last time because of threats of violence against someone. Um, it was a joke, though. And it was, you know, the whole Chick-fil-A thing. And, uh, and after I got my account banned, apparently making a second account is, is considered ban evasion. And so they eventually found out that it was it was uh, my account, and they just banned it again. It just happened to coincide at the same time where I, I did that uh, clip of this game where I'm beating up the mentally challenged guy and put it on Twitter. 
And so people thought that because I had the video of me beating up the, the mentally challenged dude, that it was, uh, it was because of that. It was just because of ban evasion, apparently. Yeah, it's against terms of service or something. So I've decided what I'm going to do is if I get... Um, what I'm going to do is in order to get a new Twitter and a new lease on life, um, technically what I could do is get a sex change, legally change my name, and then technically I'm a whole new person, right? I can get another Twitter and they can't ban that one because I'm, you know, I'm a different person. I got different genitals. Got a different name. And then I'll be, uh, you know, by that rationale, I'll be super left wing because I'm transgendered and Twitter, Twitter will love me. You know, what's not to like? Oops, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> do it like Keem. What did Keem do? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could, I could technically have like a... Uh, I could have like Abby make an account. And then I'd be like, it's, it's administrated by me, but it's not actually mine. Oh, but have it like Sam says. Oh, that's great. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. I can make a... Uh, that's a good idea. I can make like an official General Sam fan account, right? It's official. And yeah, and every tweet, it could just be like, Sam says, you know, and then whatever I would say. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> make sure your twi your Twitter photo is you with some fucking Groucho glasses on. That's that's awesome. Yeah, and then I could have it in the description. Yeah, exactly. Grim Abel. He's like an assistant runs this thing. Yeah, ran by General Sam's assistant. All t all tweets are are quotes from him posted by me. Oh my. Yeah, this is uh, uh guys, I don't understand why uh, people like us are considered the bottom of the barrel of society. Right here, we just came up with the most ingenious idea for how to evade tw uh, Twitter's TOS. You know, people like us, we should be ruling the world. You know what? I say we make a whole uh, political party on our own. Because I can tell you guys, you're not, you don't, you don't feel like you should be Democrats, and I guarantee you, you don't feel like you should be Republicans. So we should uh, we should make a third political party, and I think it should take basically a hard stance on one thing and one thing only. And I don't know what that is. What the fuck would our political party be about? What's the one thing that the other ones don't cover? Pedophilia. I think it's time for people to take away age restrict. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I can't think of a single thing. Yeah, this guy's on to something. <laughs> Gamers rise up. The incel party. <laughs> uh, no, I, I'm thinking here, what could our political party be? Yeah, it'd be the, the gamers, the, ga <laughs> the gamers union. Union of gamers. It's a, a populist movement of gamers oh, only. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the wigs don't say the wigs there's already been a wigs uh whatchamacallit dude this lady's fucking eyeing me up and down hello what's up bitch and a very good morning to you fucking hop off why are you getting so close bitch Jesus. Bring back the wig party. All right, first of all, if, if I remember correctly, I think the wig party was spelled with an H. in it W-H-I-G? Or am I just an idiot? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think it's W-H-I-G. 
Yeah. Oh my god. Everyone's like, wig, 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 dipshit. Nobody was correcting them before, but now they're all fucking angry. No wait, what am I doing in here? I'm trying to, um, I think I need to sleep or whatever. I think, is there like a place where I can take a big, hardcore nap in town? I'll take the fattest nap of all time. There's a butcher here. A gunsmith. There's a saloon. But there's no place to take biggie biggie nap. Alright, I'll just go back to, I'm gonna go back to my, uh, my thing over here. Horsey! Awesome. Oh, you, you want to see something funny? If you guys watched my, uh, if you guys watched my Red Dead video, check this shit out. Hold on. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if you watched it, but if you did, you might recognize this place with the little Dutch boy in that, uh, that basement window. Check this out. Guess who's behind the counter still? Come have a look around. What can I offer you? <laughs> oh, I didn't expect to see you back here again. Listen, I'm real sorry for what happened. I was lost in my own head. It was very wrong. I see that now. Hey, <laughs> we've all kidnapped someone. We have? No, of course not. Oh, yes. Very good. Well, moving on. How can I be of service? <laughs> I keep away from the butcher's sausage. There's a reason he keeps the price so low. Huh. Yeah, he, um... What's funny is that guy just apologized to me. He's like, I'm sorry about what happened. Dude, I shot that guy in the cock. I, like, blew his dick off and killed him. And then he, apparently he's back dickless as ever. He's like, oh, I'm sorry, sir. You left me with a stump. A little stump of a pee-pee. Apologizing to me. What an absolute beta male. Oh, okay. I just have to go towards Ma. I'm not going to help that bitch out, though. You know, I would think shooting off someone's dick with, like, a 44 like yeah. that... You know, even though it might not kill him, I would think he'd be out of commission and not selling guns for a hot minute. Just for a hot hey, minute. He was there Sam, the I next was day. At Chick -fil -A and I don't understand how you fucking love their shit food. So much. Did you know if you walk in and shout, hey Chick-fil-A, are you happy? We have to shout, yeah man. H-A-P-P-Y, woo. By the way, you can order fries extra crispy. What?! You can order fries extra crispy at Chick-fil-A? That is my number one complaint of all of chick fil a -dom. You go there, right, and you, you get yourself a nice chicken sandwich. Delicious. Three pickles. Delicious. And then they, you get your fries, your waffle fries, and every time, not every time, but sometimes, they just like don't leave them in the fryer long enough. That, and they give you, like, a batch with, like, the ass end of the potato. With, like, the part with the skin on there. It looks like a potato nipple. It's, like, what am I supposed to do here? I'm eating, like, the ass end of a potato. I'm not rushing. I'm not gonna sit here and chew on this. Like a fucking idiot. But every once in a while, they leave them in the fryer for, like, the actual right amount of time. But every time they do that, then usually the fucking jackass forgets to put salt on them. You have one job, dude. Take them out when they're ready and salt them. It can't be that difficult. It can't be that difficult. You, have, you do two things and you fucked it up. Making fast food fries should be possibly the easiest job. And if you keep fucking that up, you know what? You might as well give up now because life, your next job, your actual career job, is going to have a whole lot more responsibility than putting salt on fries that you've properly cooked. You know what? Uh, I'm sure Twitch would probably see that as a negative thing. So, you know what? If you fuck up those french fries every day and you can't handle your own job, the world's a great place for you. You're going to be somebody someday. Holy shit! What the fuck? Oh my god. What the fuck? There are people everywhere. What? 
Wait, wait, wait. I, I, why am I getting attacked? These guys are very upsetty spaghetti with me. I don't know if I if I turned the the thing over in time, but this wagon right in front of me just blew up. And it actually scared the hell out of me. I have nothing to help my health out. Oh, All right, I could drink whatever that was. That didn't help out much, but whatever. Yeah, I know it's scripted, but it, like, god damn, that scared the hell out of me. I just didn't expect it to happen. And what are the chances that I would stop right in front of where it happens? Because <laughs> I, like, stopped. I did the whole talking thing about Chick-fil-A and them not being able to cook fries. And then, like, I went back to playing and I moved a foot and it blew up. All right. Man. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. U-Turn says, it's not about fucking up the french fries, you fucking asshole. It's about doing it for eight hours a day with no breaks while helping a shit ton of customers. You have no fucking idea what it takes to be a fast food worker for 40 hours a week. All right, first of all, no fast food place that I've ever seen works anybody for 40 hours a week because by that... They would have to give them, like, like, they, they never, it's always, you always get part-time at fast food. Because wasn't that the law that, like, you would have to provide some sort of health care or something if you have, if you break a certain amount of hours per week at a job? And so that's why there's the whole epidemic of people getting multiple part-time jobs. And everybody's like, yeah, but look at the fucking, look at the unemployment rate. It's so low. So yeah, but everybody has like, you know, these part-time jobs that don't pay any fucking money. This guy's hobo toaster. You worked forty hours a week at Taco Bell. Get the fuck out of here. No way. Did you? Really? That's that's ridiculous. Forty hours a week at Taco Bell. God damn. Oh, and by the way, don't even tell me that the people that cook the fries, they don't talk to the customers. There's people in the back that you never see. That guy's one job is to sit there and lift fries out of a basket. That's all he does. I've seen how Chick-fil-A works. They have like the little grid of sandwiches that come down on the slides. There's people in the kitchen that do that stuff. And then there's the, the people that I could see the people that have to talk to customers loading up the wrong order. I could see that all day, but not they're not the same people that are cooking the fries. I was forced to work on average 60 fucking hours a week at Jersey Mike's. That's why I quit. That is a long that's a lot of hours. At Jersey Mike's, just making subs for people. Damn. Hey, Arthur. Can, can I have a quick word? But, damn, dude. Jersey Mike's, though, you know, they have. I what sub is that? It's like an Italian Mike's way. God, dude, it's getting my fucking pee pee hard just thinking about it. So, what do you think? Fuck off. About those two families. Fuck off. In the big houses. I don't want to fucking talk right now. Go have a look around. See what you can find out. Fuck, fuck off, Hosea. God damn. Keeps like getting all up in my face. I'm just trying to... Oh, I'm just trying to like get my shit. Ooh, look at that. I gotta clean that up a little bit. Beautiful. My chops, dude. They're 7 out of 10. You're probably right. Look at that. They're getting so long and sexy. I'm going for that, uh, uh, if you guys remember, um, Kurt Russell from The Hateful Eight. He had that mustache that went down into his mutton chops. And it was massive. That's what I'm going for. I'm going for that look. 
You can't you can't really specifically get it, but this is like a mix between that and Wolverine. And I'm thinking it looks kind of good. Yeah, okay, I, I, can, I can understand what this guy's saying. Insane call Paco one. I've worked at a restaurant for, for that long weekly, and let me just say, people are just fucking lazy. I guess I see why they don't care about their minimum wage jobs, but then they get used to it and decide to get lazy with the rest of their jobs and end up not getting anywhere in life. Now, I understand what you mean. Like, if you, there's nothing worse. I've had a job like that, whether it, you just don't like going to it, and you don't like the work, it's not rewarding in any way. And so, you know, you're, you're a good person, you feel like you're morally a good person, and then, you know, you wake up one day and you realize you've been fucking coming in people's chicken sandwiches for the past week and a half. I see where you would get there, you know? Um, I'm not saying I agree with it, but I'm saying I, I can understand how that, that transition would happen. I work around the clock being a gamer. Hell yeah. <laughs> How I see it, minimum wage equals minimum effort. Now, it's... The thing is, it's like minimum wage isn't minimum effort. It's... Uh, I'm going to sleep for uh, nine hours. It's not minimum effort. It's minimum, like, mental effort. You know what I mean? Like, you have to do something, but it's something that anybody can do. It is like, it is the epitome of just thoughtless g garbage work. I would say minimum, it's minimum wage, minimum skill. How about that? Anybody could do it. It's just nobody wants to do it. But. It's drone work, baby. Exactly, night dear. Where do I wash up at? I want to like get my guy all clean and, and sensual and say I think it's over here. No, it's not. So, how are you liking life as a lawn? Get off my fucking what case, doing, Dutch. Dutch. Well, I think they call it hiding in plain sight. Oh, is that what they call it? Cause I got another word for it. I am sure that you have, but the way I see it, we stick out here either way. Now, we can hide and skulk in the woods. We'll arouse more suspicion than if we act. He said arouse. And helpful. Interesting theory. I wonder how the practical will work out. We shall see. Faith, Arthur. God, Dutch gave me the fucking evil eyes at the end of that conversation. He wasn't fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> now, it, you know, a lot of people give uh, shit to what's his face. Um, what what's that guy's name? Hold on, I, I'll, I'll figure it out. Hold on, we got this. Oh, um, hey, look at that! Look at that picture, dude! I get a nice picture of this fat guy right here, sitting next to a beautiful bird. Look at that! Hold on, let's get a nice, even that shit up. Oh yes, he's even looking at me. God fucking damn it! Hold on, and then the bird flew away. Wow, thanks Obama. And then he stops doing his fishing. Okay, it's fine. What's the sheriff's costume all about? Get out of here! Stupid ass game. Is there a dog barking in the water? Why does everybody have horses in this game? Why don't they just drive their cars? You know, that's what I was wondering. <laughs> this game always pissed me off. Like, just give me a fucking McLaren F1 and let me go. You know? Not only that, but where are the paved roads? Where's the Chick-fil-A's at? This place is garbage. Like, no wonder there's people starving. Alright, so you see this, like, big-ass river? Um, or not river, it's a lake. This big-ass lake. Oh, for one, I'm going to see if I can get, like, a steamboat real quick. If there's one out here. I'm going to attempt 
to make the journey across and see if I actually, hold on, and see if I get shot. Heavy, I, I'm assuming I'm going to get shot, by the way. I'm going to make it to that little archipelago right there. Shouldn't be too bad. I get $10 an hour at Dollar General. Jesus Christ, really? Yeah, how many hours do you get? That's my question. Twenty to thirty on good weeks. Hmm. Hmm. You know, part of me, I know you guys probably are going to like bitch because uh, everybody likes to think being a YouTuber is like a dream job, which I will agree with. This job is better than any job I've ever had, but I haven't had that many jobs. But uh, I think a lot of people in my family, well, they don't think I do anything for a living. Uh, they think I just kind of like sit here and print money. But, uh... <laughs> uh I think sometimes, because my office is here in my house, right, and because I can work any time, I end up working all the time. And so part of me sees the joy in being able to just, you get off work and you're done. You know what I mean? But uh, because, you know, every once in a while I'll get, like, in this lost moment where I'm like, I don't really see what I'm going to do here. I'm Oh, by the way, that was like the golden hour for like a split fucking second. I'll get like lost in terms of like creation. Like I get tapped out creatively and, but you know, you still have to do something next day. It, I guess the thing is, is that in uh, a lot of jobs, you get told what to do and nobody is telling me what to do. But I have to do something. And so on those days where I'm just like, I don't have, you know, some days people call it drone work like Night Deer did. But some days it'd be nice to just be given something to do. And it's just like, hey, figure this shit out real quick. And I'll be like, all right, I can do that. But I, you know, I kind of have to like yank myself by my own balls. And I don't have the greatest work ethic, you know, so that doesn't help. But, uh... I, um, I, there's some people that fucking crank on this shit, like, every day. But I also feel like the people that do that don't really put any thought into it either, so I, I don't know. It's, it's a weird, it's a weird line. My favorite is, like, YouTubers, whenever, whenever they talk about it, they're like, uh, they'll, they always talk about, like, it's some fucking hard-ass job. They're like, oh, fucking, oh, this job's a lot harder than you would think. You know, uh, there's a lot of fucking this and that. It's, like, the hardest job ever. And they always, like, stroke their own dick about how hard it is. And I was, I was working in, like, the construction field for a while. And, uh, <laughs> there's, this is a lot easier than that. <laughs> Uh, mentally, no, but physically, hell yeah. And there's, I would rather do this every fucking day. There's never a, a moment where I'm like, you know what? I would rather be crawling under someone's house right now. That, that's what I'd prefer to do today. You should offload your editing to someone else so you can focus on your ideas. Do, do, uh, I don't know. All right, get this. I feel like here's a little, you know, because I'm not making like films here. All right, I'm not, I'm not a fucking, I'm not like Kubrick or anything. I feel like when a YouTuber starts shifting oh, yeah. the editing work over to a different person, uh, that's ninety percent of the creative process right there it's like it basically you're watching a channel that's not really them anymore um i don't know i i don't agree with people that 
I mean, you can do it if you want, but I just feel like it, it, your channel's lost its soul at that point, you know? Yeah, I could put out a lot more stuff, but uh, I feel like a lot of a video comes out during the editing, and I don't think uh, an editor would understand the direction that because, like, sometimes I'll go into stuff without even knowing what it's going to be until it's finished. And then, like, halfway through editing, I might be like, oh, I want this to become, like, a, uh, like, this is about incels or something. And then, like, I'll go back and record more shit. And I don't think an editor would be able to do that. Unless I'm there holding his hand, which that defeats the purpose of having an editor. Yeah. I think having an editor for stream highlights is fine. Do you share that sentiment? I suppose. But... I don't know. I also feel like... I don't know. I, I guess. Come on, I'm gonna see if I can, like, cruise over to Blackwater without dying. I'm gonna see, like, if they have people waiting at the docks for me. Because they sure as hell have them waiting at the border. Well, people that have like those those uh, those what are they called the uh, this <laughs> the stream editors or whatever. Those people are usually just full time Twitch streamers, so that's fine. But if you're like a YouTuber, uh, okay. First of all, people that just regurgitate their stream onto YouTube edited, that's like the laziest form of content I've ever seen. I was vehemently against that entire premise. And then I uploaded a couple of my own because, it, by the way, every time I've done it, it's been out of pure, like, desperation for, for content. Because, I mean, hold on, look at these guys. For example, when power came back after Hurricane Michael, I hadn't had time to record because I had no power for a week. And so I just edited my last stream before the hurricane came. What are these guys doing? What's up, Chiefs? Want to get a nice little picture here? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Let's see here. Ooh, what's that? Uh, this isn't nearly as successful as I thought it was going to be. There we go. Hold still. Come on. There we go. Come on. The last guy jumped in the water. Okay. Wow, those, these guys are hauling ass in their canoe. That's what we like to call witnesses. Not on my fucking watch. <laughs> Why am I getting negative disposition on these? Like, who the fuck is seeing this? And this guy's trying to get away. Where you going, buddy? Where you going, buddy? Damn, he's hauling ass, too. Uh-oh, he's gonna get to shore before I can stop him. Hold on. Fucking go, dude. Go, 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 go. Faster. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. <Shit>. Yes. <laughs> All right, buddy. Come on. Oh, my God. He's getting away. I had to do it. <laughs> God damn. All right, anyways, like I was saying about the whole stream thing. Uh, yeah, the, okay, when someone takes like stream highlights and puts those on YouTube, um, uh, I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of torn on those. I, uh, I've done it under like desperation, you know, like 
the whole Hurricane Michael thing. I didn't have anything to put up. And then I've done it whenever it's been something that, like, when something major happened uh, that I thought was worthy of making into a video. Um, and then there's instances where, like, I just, I need it for the, the content. Or if I'm making a video on, like, for example, if I make a video on, like, Hunt Showdown in order to advertise my Twitch, at the end of the video, I'll do, like, Twitch highlights from that game you know, so it still like keeps the same theme as the video, but it highlights like it shows you what happens on on stream. But, uh, you know, there's channels that are just like if someone just streams and then they just throw up highlights on YouTube. I don't know. I just feel like it's kind of lazy. A little bit. Come on. You have to admit that's a it's a little bit fucking lazy. Ugh. Ugh. Something major has happened in the Sam story arc. Yeah, it was, uh, I forget what happened. Oh, yeah, it was when Killgrip gave me, like, 900 bucks in that one day. And, like, every time he would donate, I would be like, dude, seriously, you need to stop. And then Brian would go, bet you won't do it again. <laughs> fucking pussy. <laughs> and he would fucking do it again every time. <laughs> it was fucking hilarious. It was just a hilarious stream. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. I want to see if they have... I'm wanted dead or alive in this place. And I want to see if they have people waiting for me. Because if I come here... And I get up on the shore... And I sneak... Sneaky, sneaky! They will have no idea I'm here. And if they start sending people, I'm going to be fucking absolutely irate. Which means this game's hacking. If there's one thing I will not tolerate, it's when a fucking game hacks me. I'm wanted dead or alive, boy. They don't even know I'm in town, though. God, that's so sexy. They don't even know I'm inside them. Okay, let me tell you something. Let me look at the map. Look at that. I heard a horse whinnying. Right, there's lawmen. There's a bunch of lawmen right there. Do you think I could take out all the lawmen in this place without being seen? Interesting. <gasps> Hold on. Is that a lawman? Look here. Hell yeah, that's one. He's up there on the little pier uh, thing. <laughs> huh. Hot damn, I hit puberty. Hey, Jim Jim Kablam. Thanks for the resub for 13 months, man. Oh, and Inverted98. Thanks for the sub. And Lieutenant Dan. Thanks for the resub for 15 fucking months. How did I not catch that? I'm sorry. And Lil Nut, thanks for the sub. And Leshy, thanks for the resub for four months. Posse up with me when Red Dead Online comes out. Dude, you fucking know it. Hell yeah, man. Uh, 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 Bogan Australian, that's the closest thing we got to a, a Wild West gunslinger these days. You know, it's like a Wild West gunslinger, but with a mullet. And a penchant for crack. So, I mean, it, basically a gunslinger. All right, let's see here. I I feel like I'm just going to get seen immediately as I'm walking up to this place. What's the uh is there any advantage to sneaking up to this place anyways? Am I getting anything out of this? Hold on, let me see if I can... Can I hit this guy with anything? I don't even have a fucking tomahawk. I got nothing on this guy. I can do... I can pirate sword this other dude. If I can get up to the back end of this place. Which I can. Check this out. Check this out. Hold on.
Is he looking at me? Get out, get out, get out. All right, hold on. I'm coming behind this guy. Now I'm going to get him with the old stabby in the becky technique. With the old pirate sword. <laughs> Fucking get wrecked, idiot. Crime reported. Whom? Whom? What the fuck was that? How'd they even see it? There is absolutely, there is like a no way. Oh my god, they're like on top of me. Alright, looks like a, there's, I have no option. They are, dude, they are all over me already. Fuck you. God damn. It has reminded me to restart my computer four times today. You know what I just realized? There's no way I can get a worse bounty. Let me think about it. Look how many bodies I have lined up here. I think they just keep spawning, though. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here. Oh, I thought I just died. But there's, there's way more lawmen flooding in here than there was on the map. So I have a feeling they just fucking respawn. Look at all these bodies, though. Did I kill everybody? Did I kill... Did I just kill every fucking person in this place? Wait a second. Oh my god, check this out. I got a lawman hat. Dude, Mimi, Pee Pee, Big Big. Let's get the fuck out of here. Fuck, I shot his horse. Uh oh, I'm, I might die here. Alright, Chief. Not how I wanted to go. Jesus Christ, there's like a million of them. <laughs> Mimi, want my. Get my boat! My boat! Oh, it hurts so bad. It's so far out there. Alright. <laughs> God damn it. It's fine. You know, that's not the worst thing that's ever happened. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Yeah, there's no way in hell I was getting there. Well, it's like all of a sudden, they just, like a million more spawned. They're really trying to keep you from getting in there. But apparently now I have, oh my fucking god. What? 
Look at that. They carried the bounty over. What? No. They considered those kills? From Blackwater, that's considered West Elizabeth. God damn it. I have $500 bounty. I can't find... I can't... There's no way in hell I'm paying that. I'm going to have to do story missions to get that kind of dosh, dude. I, I, I could skin 800 of those stupid white cougars that are one of a kind before I would get that much fucking money. Yeah, I could turn myself in if they don't shoot me on sight. God, they would drain every penny I have, though. Damn. That sucks the big one. I'm not going to lie to you, Chief. Man. Oh, is that too high of a bounty for me to, like, I can't just be, I can't turn myself in amicably? Here, yeah, hold on. Is it, where, where's, like, a police... They shoot on sight. All right, that's fucking. That's rough. So, what do you do to like? Wait, could I turn myself into a, a sheriff? Huh? Hold on a second. Hold on. Let, let's see here. I'm gonna test this theory. I'm gonna go to the sheriff's office at uh in in Strawberry. Right here. I'm going to try to turn myself in. Yep. I'll be unarmed. I'm going to see if I can uh, see if I can get away with it. See if they can just jail me or something. Fuck, if this works, right? If this works, I'll actually be very impressed. Like I said that, like, sometimes your friends will break you out of jail. That feels like bullshit to me. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. But if it does happen, that would be mighty cool. I should probably roll in there. You know what? If I don't take a road... Then I won't get ambushed by bounty hunters, technically. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me get on my hat. Everybody's fucking yelling at me. I'm going to put on my stovepipe. I've unlocked the ability to drift with this horse. Hit square and use the L thumbstick to fucking... Whoa, what the hell? What is this thing, a spider? Jesus. Hey, Retric, thank you for the three bucks. Graduate. Wait, hold on. What does he say? I graduated last year, and now I work in the rug department in a store for minimum. And I want to blow my brains out and go back to high school, even though I had no friends. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, but the rug department—that's a booming industry, right? Because everybody has floors. You know, when you think about it, right? <laughs> What the hell is... I, I can't get over that whole, like, drifting thing. That doesn't... No, that's not drifting. That's not something a horse can do, is it? A horse just doesn't ignore physics and start fucking, like, weaving and... What the hell? That's wild, son. Alright. I'm gonna roll in here really fast. I'm gonna throw my hands up. Got a bounty of 500. Let's do it, dude. Let's go in jail. Are you looking for trouble? I am here. Hey there. I'm a wanted man. I'm here to serve my prison sentence. What's up, dude? Is there... 
Is there any way I can, uh... I, I am in a good mood for some reason. Good to hear. Well, I'll leave you to it. Bye now. Okay. Is there... Wait, ooh, is that money on the table? Can I take that money clip? Thanks, partner. Hey, don't do that. Ten bucks. Wait a second. I know who you are, you piece of shit. Okay. Hold them high or else. I had enough. There we go. Look at this. Shit. You're gonna come with me this second. <laughs> wow, he hard scoped me. Epic. There we go. See? Night deer? It worked. Look at me just laying around. <laughs> uh oh. Is that my main man, John Marston? <laughs> Johnny boy! Crime reported, though. That's not good. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Hold on. Hold on. I still have a fucking bounty of 500. I still have a... After they broke me out, I got myself put in jail intentionally. John Marston comes back from the fucking dead to fuck me over. I still have a bounty of 500. I... <laughs> 